Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed and uh, this is a dedicated training for Elastic Certified Analyst exam. And uh, we are going to uh, talk today about the uh, uh, the last point in the uh, visualization, visualizing data topic, which is at the reference lines and uh, annotation to uh, lens uh, visualization. All right. Um, I will go to I will go to discover. So we are working on our <coughs> uh, or uh, we're gonna use for this visualization the uh, logs uh, data view, and I will open in a new window. I need uh, this window. I will go back uh, to it. So click lens, and here we go. Now we are in the right data view and we are in the right time range right and now i want um like uh, they are asking us to uh, add a reference line so where can we find the reference line so when you click here on add layer so we have two things we have annotation and we have reference reference line so as you can see we cannot click here why we have nothing here we did not choose anything so we have to choose something or let's go back to destination this one so this one uh, i will add quickly the top 10 and remove oh sorry uh, where is it one second so i will go with top 10 and remove the group of others like this so adding a line a reference line so it will be like this. Uh, sorry, I have to go here. Add, and you see reference line. So reference line, it's you are doing the monitoring, let's say, or you want to get a notification, or you want to visualize, uh, or put a line here uh, as the name mentioned. Reference line. Um, if it is, for example, here a thousand. If you have more than a thousand document or a source or destination or whatever the field you choose if you have more than you have the line here and for sure you can change the value of the line so here is the thousand twenty six you can change it uh, you can change the the color you can change the uh, 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 the size so this is uh, this is uh, some modification or some uh, manipulations or some references that you can add here and modify, right? Um, this is uh, one thing and, and uh, it is easy. So you have to understand uh, well the question and what they want, like above what or which field or you choose the right field, you choose the right value for your uh, reference line and here we go, you have it. So now I uh, will I will create or I will do again um, another visualization with lens to add this time annotations right um, so for the annotation so you see here if you move your mouse here you it will see it will tell you like this this will work only with date uh, histogram so date histogram uh, it works also this date histogram work also with a field that have date uh, or time as uh, a date as a type so if i select here so it's one of the three we, if we choose something else um, let's return back to our field so we was using the this one if i click add layer I will not be able to find it. Why? Because it's required the date histogram and the date histogram work only with a field that have a date as as a type. So let me clean this one or let me clear this. And again, if you don't know the date, so you have just click here and you have your date here. Right. So you select. So now what I want to see or what I want to add as um, uh, annotation layer so if i click i i have something here happening here right so but if i want to modify it let's say i want to uh, get uh, add the icon here or add the visualization or notation here that will tell me like if we consume more than I don't know, 100 megabyte or one gigabyte for upload or download or something. 
So I can customize the query, right? And uh, before I do that, I will show you also something. So uh, what is the byte here? One second, let's search, search for byte. All right, so I will do, let's check this one, bytes and byte counter. This one, let's take this one, byte counter. So um, you see the, the format, it's like, it's like just number, right? But I know it's byte. So there is something that I will show you now that we can change the visualization of the uh, the value here. Like I will make it as a byte or if it is a dollar, I will make it as a currency and so on and so forth. So how we can do that? So we come, we go to uh, index management. Oh, sorry, we go to data view. And here uh, we have logs, right? And we have byte counter, this one, right? So you. You click on edit and here in edit um, so sets a format so this you enable it and here you have so if it is color currency duration number percentage so on and so forth so for bytes for me this is like instead of saying a number like this or this or this I can see it's like in human readable um, format so I will save it Right, and as you can see here, the format is bytes. So now, if I go back to discover, I supposed to find it as as a byte. Like instead of saying, I don't remember what was the the value uh, or just long long number. So like this, um, it's a customized uh, format. Let's bytes. Let's, okay, let's see the others. You see, like this is still as a number, but the other one, but this field is. Um, uh, we have configured, configured okay so now what i want to do in my lens like i want to add annotation here what like i can customize the query right so i can click here and say for example byte counter if it is more than or equal 41 for example 42 All right, so this is the annotation. So I, I know this make a lot of noises, uh, but uh, in your case or in your in the scenario of the exam, you have to choose uh, or to write the or you customize the query to get the annotation for the right uh, or for the specific uh, value they they give you. So the annotation you can change the you can change the uh, uh, the icon here, so you you can change it uh, from here. So as you can see. And let's let's reduce here. Let's go with the last one hour or so. Let's add two hours and see if we have something. I don't want yeah. So this this is the icon. You will you'll be able to find it here again. You uh, make sure that you are uh, you are covering everything in the scenario and you do the save. So it's topic topic two dot nine for example none and add the, and you go again to discover and you or not the, the visualization library or visualize library and you go back to your visualization and you make sure that you are choosing the right color or, or, or you you save it correctly with with the correct uh, specification of the scenario with that being said, I hope you uh, uh, get the point. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any question and we'll see you in the next topic.